Hi there, I'm Jack from Twinkle, and in today's video we're taking a look at Bloom's Taxonomy. What is Bloom's Taxonomy, and how can you use it to support your child's learning? Bloom's Taxonomy is an ordered list of the skills used in each stage of learning. We can use it to understand best how to support your children's learning, or to understand the best approach to teaching. Here is a quick rundown of the stages. Stage one is knowledge, and this is where children remember. This comes in the way of recalling facts, like a mathematical equation, or a spelling, grammar, or punctuation rule. Stage two is comprehension, and this is where children understand, building on their knowledge by explaining their understanding of what they know. This could be in the way of putting historical events in order, or summarising a story in just a few simple sentences. Stage three is application, where children use their understanding to demonstrate their knowledge. This could be in the way of a poster, a model, a game, to explore a topic in a new context. Stage four is analysis, where children compare knowledge from different areas and make connections. This could be in the way of spotting patterns in numbers or noticing recurring themes in different fiction texts. Stage five is evaluation, and this is where children use all their knowledge so far to form a balanced argument in a debate or to form a written conclusion. And finally, stage six is creation, where children produce an original work using all the previous stages as a foundation. This could be in the form of composing and performing a song to relate some information. This could be designing an invention to solve a problem, or this could be writing a brand new story. Twinkle's Using Bloom's Taxonomy question sheet covers each stage of Bloom's Taxonomy and uses verbs and questions to inform each stage of your teaching and the learning process. So, in stage one, knowledge, the verbs listed are all related to what children will do when recalling facts, and the sample questions can all start explorations into what your learners already know. Then, there's the activities and skills. Find a relevant skill you would like to draw out from your learners, and then find a relevant activity you can use or adapt to the topic you're learning. So, for example, if you're learning about properties of materials in science, in this first stage of finding out what they already know, you might want your children to list materials that are shiny or dull, identify a material from how it feels, describe a material to a partner. You could use a sample question like, can you select, where children pick out an item from the properties described. What you would find out here in stage one would help you figure out what they already know and would inform your future teaching of the topic. Then it's just a case of following the process from stage to stage using this sheet as a reference tool. Have your children summarize and write in their own words in the comprehension stage, make a model in the application stage, and so on all the way through to rewriting, inventing, creating or imagining in the final creation stage. Twinkle have a wide range of Bloom's Taxonomy display pieces. You could display these in your learning area in the form of a mountain or a wheel for easy reference. You can also find Bloom's Taxonomy display pieces specific to different subjects, like these questions specified towards reading. Or you could use Twinkle's range of Key Stage 2 maths, Meet the Bloom Superheroes, where Bloom's taxonomy is explained in a simpler context for children to encourage independent learning in maths. Rosie, the rememberer, can help them get started with recalling their past maths knowledge. And each stage of Bloom's taxonomy is represented by a different superhero. Twinkle's range includes a desk mat, a visual aid that's easy to reference for your children. There's a PowerPoint so you can introduce the superheroes and get your children started on their independent learning. 
and you can also find posters and lanyards to support them further. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the Twinkle Key Stage 2 channel.